Hello and welcome to Cinematic Studio Woodwinds, the next installment of the Studio Series Collection. Like our other libraries, Cinematic Studio Woodwinds has been in production for several years. It's the result of hundreds of hours of recordings and countless hours of editing, programming, scripting, testing and reworking before finally being ready for release. The musicians we worked with were among the best you can find each has performed on multiple top Hollywood films. This level of experience and musicianship is immediately obvious as soon as you start playing the instruments in CSW. The GUI still functions as you'd expect. Articulations are selected via the matrix in the middle, and you can save on RAM by unloading articulations. Just hold Alt or Option and click on a tile. Key switch assignments are listed in the top left corner of each tile and can be changed by holding shift and clicking on the tile and then pressing the new desired key. Also, please note that the default key switch for enabling or disabling legato has been changed from A sharp zero to G sharp zero. This was done to make room for the full range of bassoons and bass clarinet, all of which share A sharp zero as their lowest note. Microphones can be loaded in or out of RAM via the on-off button below each fader. And outputs can be easily routed via the little triangles at the bottom. You'll also notice that there is now an additional microphone fader, OH or overheads. These were placed three meters above the players in a wide stereo configuration to capture the entire woodwind section as a whole. This is a common recording technique for woodwinds allowing you to boost the volume of the whole section to match the volume of the strings and brass without losing any of the fine details of each individual instrument. I'll be covering mixing options in more depth in future videos. When creating libraries, realistic legato has always been at the top of our list of priorities. We spent a very long time getting this right, both during the recording sessions and also in the editing and programming stages. We also captured lively, energetic marcato samples, which can be used to play fast passages and even runs. Consistency across sections has always been a big part of the design of the Cinematic Studio series as a whole, so you can quickly and easily copy MIDI parts over to any other instrument, greatly speeding up orchestration. Also, be sure to check out our detailed Legato playthrough video, which features every solo instrument in the library. To see this, follow the link in the description below. 
And now I'd like to finish with a little piece I made just for fun. This is only woodwinds and a few piano notes. No strings or brass. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 